Made it through, made it through, made it through And everything I gave to you, I gave to you, I gave to you You got it, you got it, you got it, it's coming So are you ready? My name is J.D. Moore and I am the artist that created this mural on the north facing wall of DeSoto City Hall. In January 2021, the city of DeSoto adopted its first cultural plan. One of the key strategies detailed in the plan is to establish a process for implementing an art in public places program. This idea recognizes the importance of providing residents and visitors access to quality artistic experiences in the public sphere. Future artworks could serve function to bring attention to prevailing social issues, elevate public interest, and create a sense of pride for the city. For this inaugural public art project, the city of DeSoto sought to create a landmark destination with a highly visible mural. The overall nature of the work should convey a celebration of culture and cultural dignity. The artwork concepts should present a general uplifting of humanity while representing ideas of community and traditional value. The mural is imagined as a picture perfect moment. Interested artists applied to create work in a realistic style that could also incorporate aspects of surrealism and abstraction. When I started this project, I had to start with inspiration. And the question I asked myself is, what is the role of City Hall? Knowing that this would be the destination of the mural, I had to do a little homework. And the definition that really resonated with me, which is that a City Hall is a portal through which we interact with local leaders and conduct our bureaucratic business with the government. So what this did for me was allow me to focus on the idea of a portal. And I wanted to create a relationship between the citizens and the government through a portal. And in order to do that, I needed to portray citizens and government interacting, which is uh, what I typically do is paint portraits and tell stories through body language and those portraits. Uh, when I arrived to the location for the first time, the architecture of the surrounding area, it reminded me of a fresco painting in Italy called School of Athens by Renaissance painter Raphael and that painting is significant to me more than just the aesthetics but also the symbolic representation of the two main characters in that uh, painting. There's a conversation happening between Plato and Aristotle and I decided to focus on Plato's side of uh, the argument which is derived from one of his works called the Divided Line Theory. And in the Divided Line Theory, there are four sections that uh, illustrate how we behave and how we interact with ourselves and with each other. The Divided Line Theory is separated by two main parts, the visible world and the intelligible world. In the visible world, it further breaks down into opinion and belief. And in the intelligible world, it further breaks down into knowledge and forms. So this is how I structured the content in the mural initially by starting with opinion. And opinion is simply representing imagination and art to symbolize opinion or imagination in art, I wanted to depict on the far left-hand side, someone uh, looking out into the future and uh, implying that their imagination is at work while also paying homage to the city's past and the visionaries that were here creating DeSoto as it is today. 
The next section, belief, simply means the awareness of your sensible world, your feelings, and a priori experiences. That's this section here, which is a group of women gathered together. And I chose this composition to represent belief because what we're witnessing are a group aware of themselves interacting with each other in a sense of uh, comfort, safety, and I thought it was important to include a child in this group because I believe that children are the epitome of a priori experiences, which are experiences that are felt without having learned them. So these are almost instinctual feelings. I think children tell us that they know what love is and they know when they're scared and they know um, these emotions without having to be taught these things. The next section is knowledge, which means understanding through experience, teaching and learning fundamental properties. So that section is here with our next group of portraits, being inquisitive and listening in and again, being aware of their surroundings, but now they're aware of surroundings beyond them. They are seeking to understand and they are learning while also being taught by our last portrait to the right, which is uh, a representative of the government and this is where we enter the portal, almost uh, bridging a gap between citizens who are living and experiencing the day to day and who also want to become involved with the government uh, while having help from the government. Um, if you notice the uh, portrait to the right is the main portrait that is looking towards everyone else as a representative of this extended arm uh, reaching out to bring in. Lastly, forms is reason, perfect truth, good itself, justice. What I chose to symbolize that is an abundance of foliage and plant life uh, because I believe that nature is the perfect representation of justice, good itself, and that all of these things before are us striving for perfection because I believe that the role of going to city council meetings and voting is the pursuit of perfection and that we are merely striving every day to get closer to perfection but what truly represents that in my eyes is nature. And what I wanted to do was symbolize DeSoto in what I have found the most of in DeSoto, which are an abundance of trees, a vast variety of tree life, um, certain flowers, crepe myrtles, I think are images that could bring you back to DeSoto when you're looking at this image and you might not be here. That in a nutshell is the mural that I've titled Pleasant Run 